Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you my watercolor sketching kit that I take with me to paint outdoors. Before we jump into it, I would like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my channel for speed paints and more videos like this one. Let's get started. I love painting outdoors. And while it might not be the most comfortable thing to do, it is an amazing experience and you can definitely make your life much easier by optimizing your travel kit as much as possible. Now let's take a look at how I did that. Let's start with pens and brushes. I've made this cute brush roll that is quite compact, but it holds all the tools I need. First of all, I have a couple of pencils here. I use this wider sketching pencil for quick thumbnail sketches, and then I have this regular HB pencil. Sometimes I use it for guidelines before inking, and sometimes I skip the step and go in directly with my ink pen. For my sketches, I use this fountain pen by Lamy, which is quite popular among sketchers. I fill it in with waterproof ink suitable for fountain pens, and I must say it was quite a challenge to find one. On to my brushes. I usually take these three brushes with me. These are synthetic brushes by Pinox, and they work perfectly for my sketches. I use this round brush for my main washes. It has this wire binding and it holds a lot of paint and water. This is a dagger brush. It is very versatile and it can be used as a liner or as a flat brush. It also has this bevel tip which I use for scratching technique. As such, these two brushes are quite enough for my sketching, but sometimes I also like to use this flat brush for some final details or specific washes like water surface for example. Ink liner. I used to do my line work with liners like this before I switched to fountain pen. Now I take it mostly as a backup, for example if I run out of ink in my pen. Finally, a white gel pen for some finishing details and highlights. This one is Jelly Roll Pen by Sakura. Now let's take a look at what I have in this little pouch here. First of all, of course, my watercolors. I have this team case that almost any watercolor brand has. Mine is by White Knights. I'm mostly using White Knights watercolor paints. They're actually produced in my city, so they are available in any art supply store here. And it is quite a good quality watercolor at a very nice price. I do have some other brands in this set, but mostly it is White Knights. If you're interested to know what colors exactly I have in this palette, then you can head over to my Instagram to check out the reel that I will link below. Then I have a water bottle and a spray bottle. I've tried many different water bottles, but I really wanted something flat like this one so it doesn't take up a lot of space. This bottle holds enough water for a couple of sketches. There's one issue though. It has this lid that on one hand is convenient on the go, you can just open it like that and pour the water, but on the back side it can sometimes leak in your purse. So what I'm thinking of doing is to seal this hole with a bit of a hot glue. This little spray bottle I use to reactivate my paints quickly. Next is my water cup. I'm using this metal cup which is intended for oil paint solvent, but it is actually of a perfect size and also it has this sort of clip at the bottom so I can attach it to my pad and it will stay in place. I also have a pencil sharpener and a little tin that holds my eraser and kneaded eraser. Then I have a couple of cloths for my brushes and a ziplock bag to put away a dirty cloth after sketching. And finally, of course, some paper clips. Now let's move to this folder here that has my paper and my pad. First of all, I don't really like to take sketchbooks with me when painting outdoors. I prefer to take sheets of my favorite paper because it saves so much space and weight. So I usually take with me some sketching paper to do very quick thumbnails like these ones, to figure out the light and shadow, the composition, etc. before starting to sketch. Then I have a variety of paper in different formats for my sketches. I like to do my urban sketches on 100% cellulose paper. What I have here is various cellulose paper by Canson. Now on to my pad system, which I'm quite proud of. I have tried many different options. Some of them were okay, but not ideal. This one doesn't look super fancy, but it is so lightweight and so convenient. So these are pieces of foam cardboard. They sell them in art supplies shops for making mats for your paintings. As I said, it is very lightweight, but also quite sturdy. Now it will break if you bend it, but it works well as a pad for sketching. Another great thing about it is you buy a sheet of 50 by 70 centimeters and then you can cut it down to the size you like and configure your own pad based on the setup you need. I have two pads here. One is for attaching my paper and another for holding my tools. 
you can see I have here some adhesive magnets to hold my tin palette in place. The foam cardboard has a paper surface, so I put a tape all over it to make it more durable. So now let me assemble it and show you the full sketching setup. So I clip a piece of paper right here. Then I can do some line work. When I'm ready to work with watercolor, I attach a tool pad using the clips. There goes my water cup, a piece of cloth and of course my watercolor palette. So you can see it is very compact and everything holds in place. It is also lightweight, so I can actually sketch standing without any issues. You can use this to paint horizontally as well as vertically. Here are some photos of the setup in the fields for your inspiration. This was my main watercolor kit for sketching outdoors. There will be a part 2 of this video where I will share my even more compact watercolor setup for sketching in museums, as well as my two options for the on-the-go kits for ink sketching. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram to see more frequent updates on my creative journey.